Cyberthon is a non-profit project of ETH Zurich that challenges teams from all over the world to develop assistive technologies for people with disabilities. This year, an assistive robot race was added to the challenge. Assistance robots have the promising potential to increase the autonomy of people who have very little to no motor control of their limbs. Hi, I'm Jörn, team leader of the Eden system. Eden is based on a power wheelchair with a robotic arm. It also has a camera to detect objects and a tablet to provide information for the user. The second Cybathlon Challenge discipline today, the assistance robot race. Teams will have to complete the following two tasks both correctly and as quickly as possible. In the eating challenge, competitors in wheelchairs employ their assistance robot to pick up an apple from a table and bring it to their mouth. In the cleanup challenge, a referee lifts the first of four boxes and reveals an object as soon as competitors are installed at the table. Pilots then have to use their assistance robots to move the corresponding object that has been randomly placed on a shelf to the top of the shelf. Here, and it's first and foremost with 10 seconds on the clock before the challenges begin. Uh, Robert, it's an attachment to the wheelchair, which uh, really uh, looks like it can be a massive advantage to wheelchair users in so many ways. So Matthias is controlling Eden with a 3D joystick here. Uh, and to switch between moving the wheelchair or the arm, he has a head switch with which he can cycle through different devices. Yeah, because the robotic device is close to the user, however, if uh, the robot can do things alone where the user, the pilot, is not required, um, the other systems might have an advantage. Um, here, it's a great device. The robotic arm is very famous. Uh, I remember it already from the 90s uh, when it was developed at uh, DLR. DLR is a very famous and a large, maybe the largest institute in the world working in robotics. So I expect something from that team. Well, your prediction is on point, no question there, Robert, because it is fast, it seems to be smooth and uh, great control here. Very accurate, that three-way grip uh, seems perfect for the apple, but this is only the first part of the challenge. Uh, 50, almost a minute on the clock, and the first part of the challenge almost completely passes the table, and there's 10 points already earned for the Edan team. Now, he goes to what would could be in a, a real-life situation, a cupboard or a kitchen cabinet or something, and again, we will discover what he has to find within those four pieces and get it to the top shelf. In the second task, the objects we are dealing with are much more delicate than in the first task. Therefore, we provide more support and constrain the robot more when approaching the objects. In order to pick up an object, firstly, Matthias has to bring the robot hand close to the object. Once the hand is close enough, the picking skill for this object is automatically activated. From there, the robot takes care of the actual grasping while Matthias is controlling the velocity. He's got 30 seconds left on the clock to complete this challenge. Within the five minutes of allocated time, it drops down. Now he's just got to turn the chair around, head for the line. Well done, Matthias Adsenhofer for the Edan team. Under the five minute time, four minutes 44, with 20 points on the scoreboard. Oh, it's going to be so close to see if he can beat his own time from earlier today. He's got to run about 20 seconds ahead. Now the arm gets brought in. He needs to turn the chair and cross that line to stop the clock. And Matthias Altsenhofer has done it. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Four minutes, 29. 16, 17 seconds faster. There we go. A 17 seconds time improvement. Uh, tell us a little bit about the robotic arm itself and how it works with you. Ja, es macht äh, 
großen Spaß, vor allem diese halbautomatische Steuerung, wo man unterstützt wird bei der ganzen Arbeit mit dem Arme schon. Macht äh, ziemlich viel Spaß. Robert, those are some great pictures and really it's exactly what we're all about. We are super happy with today's result and in the future we hope that we will be able to provide people with disabilities an actual assistive system for activities of daily living.